a tutorial on how to do an online registration of a Beefmaster animal. First, you'll start by going to beefmasters.org, click on the purebred section. Then from there, you'll click registration, and then you'll select breeder online login. From there, it'll bring you to a new tab where you'll be prompted to type in your username and password. You can also get to this same login screen through the animal search function on the website. So you go to here like you would for an animal search or a member search, but there's a new option, Breeder Online Login. You can click there, bring you to the same screen and prompt you for your username and password. Your username is your membership number. So we're going to do sample registrations for Brian and Bethany Cloyd. I'm going to enter their membership number here, and then I'm going to enter their temporary password. And this temporary password will be administered to each member through the BBU office. Click login. And then once you log in with your temporary password, you can go to tools, change password, Type in your temporary password, and then you can create a new password here and save. Make sure you remember your new password uh, so you can log in for future registrations. So you'll start your registration by going to My Performance, then My Calving. Click on My Calving, and we're registering some 2017 born animals. So you're going to type in 2017 under the calving year and hit change. This brings up all the animals that are already registered for 2017. I'm gonna click add in order to register a new animal. From there, I'm gonna enter the calf's information. The dam certificate number is gonna be entered here and it'll bring up the dam's ID number and name so you can verify it's the correct one. Then you'll enter the calf birth date. For September 19th of 2017, you'll enter it in this format, 091917. Make sure you enter it in this correct format. Then you'll enter the sire number. And it'll bring up the same thing, ID number and name, so you can verify it's the correct one. Then you'll enter the ID and ID location. This is a... ID number given to the animal by the breeder. So 915 is this one's ID number, and it's in the left ear. So you would type in L-E. But you can type in or scroll through to select the correct location. Then the holding brand for this animal, I'm going to enter it here, SFB for Sulfur Flat Beefmaster. And this holding brand is going to be located on the right hip, so I'll type in RH. Again, you can scroll through and select the correct location depending on your operation. Left hip, right hip, both hips, left thigh, whatever is significant and specific to you. And then this is a fire brand, so I type in FB for fire, or you can type in CB for freeze brand or cold brand. Um, so you can, again, scroll through and select the correct type of holding brand. Then you'll go to the sex of the animal. And this is a bull. So we'll type in M for male. And then this is not a twin. So you wouldn't enter anything here. But if it was a twin, you would type two. And then also the twin sex. Um, uh, of this birth, but I won't enter anything here because this is a single birth. Then we'll go down to body color. You'll enter the code for the body color. So this animal is, ha, is red with a white underline. So you do one D for white underline. Now, if you're not sure what the reference code is for the color, you can uh, go to our website and under the registration tab, go to codes, BBU reference codes, and it lists all the color reference codes right here. 
So, for example, if you have a paint, you would type in four for the color code. Or if you have a black calf with a mottled face, you would type in 6C. So that's where you're going to get those codes in order to enter the color of the animal. Then you'll go to the horn status. And this animal is horn, so I type in H. You can scroll through and select, you know, if it's scurred, pulled, horned, make sure you select that correct horn status. This is a natural calf, um, so I would leave it on natural, but you can select AI if it's an AI calf, but we'll stay on natural for this one. You scroll through. This is not an embryo calf, so you wouldn't have to enter anything in here for resip or flush information. And then you can enter the name of the animal. And the name of this one is SFB's High Tide. And then we won't enter a disposal code because it's an active animal. And then the Cavignese is one for unassisted. We'll enter the birth weight here. That WT is for weight. So 70 is the weight for that one. And then you can enter the body condition of the cow at birth. And then the uh, suspension of the udder is going to be for this one is seven. And then the teat size for this one is five. So you can enter that if you have that information. And then you'll go down to where you'll finalize the registration. So Make sure you verify that everything's correct. And then you can click here if you do not want a paper printed from the office and then mailed to you. You can click here and it will hold the paper where it will not print. The certificate will not print here at the office and be mailed to you. Now, if you want a certificate to be printed and mailed to you, then you would untick that, unclick it, and make sure it's not selected. Then you would select purebred, and then this is very important. Make sure you click register here. Um, that will administer the certificate number for the animal. And then once you've selected that and make sure all the information is correct, you hit save. And then it will give you the certificate number of the animal. And you can save that for your records and it will also be automatically saved into your calving year data. So this new animal that I just registered is right here. And it's simple as that.